Hello guys, this is Mike from programming.org. Um, by request, I'm going to show you how to download the NetBeans IDE instead of the Eclipse if that's what you are required to use. And I'm going to show you how to also, maybe in the next video, show you how to uh, start a project and write a class. So let's download NetBeans first and just go to your browser, whatever you're using and type in, I'll just type in Java NetBeans and go to netbeans.org should be one of the first ones and right here it says NetBeans IDE 7.4 and I'll download that, they have an 8.0 in beta, in beta which is uh, probably good, uh, it's just the testing version is the latest one but this is the newest one that is probably the most reliable they have all different types right now uh, if you're just getting into Java just worry about getting this one that says Java SE which is standard edition so I'm going to download that uh, make sure you're in you have your right platform Windows or Mac whatever you're using and the language that you want to use mine's English so I'm going to download this and go it's automatically downloading so I'm going to pause this video alright welcome back guys it took a few minutes uh, with Google Chrome it downloads it to the bottom of your screen right here every browser is a little bit different but just go to your the dot exe dot exe file click it and then it will ask you if it wants to make changes just say yes that means is very reliable and it's going to do some more installation stuff. It may take a few minutes. Some stuff has to pop up. There we go. And you never know how long this is going to take. That went pretty quick. So it says, Welcome to the NetBeans ID 7.4 installer. So we're going to just say next. We want to accept the agreement. Say next. Uh, I accept. Install J unit. Yes, that's fine. And it wants to make sure that you have the right or link the JDK for it. So I do have the Java Development Kit 1.7 that has the uh, JRE7 in it. So if you don't, you might want to make sure you download the right JDK and that's where I found it right here and after I downloaded it I'll just say OK for that it's good to have the Java uh, JDK 7 not the 6 you can use 6 if you want but 7 is the most recent and 8 is actually about to come out so I would put 7 on there if I were you and let's say next um, I don't want updates and let's install okay this may take a few minutes so I'm gonna pause the video again alright guys it did it uh, did the whole installation now contribute to the NetBeans project by providing the amount of misuse of data and no thank you I'm not gonna really use NetBeans that much click next guess it doesn't matter if you have clicked that or not, but let's see. I don't know if it's done yet or not. Okay, so I have it down here on my screen. Open it up. And the when you first open up NetBeans, you're gonna get this start page and you can go through it if you want. They'll have a tour if you really want to learn more about NetBeans. Uh, I'm not interested in it right now. So I'm just going to click exit out of that. And now we have on the left we have projects, files, and services. Well we can go either to file new project or get out of here. We can click on this new project. I'll just click on this for now. And we want to click Java and we want to click Java application. And then right here we're going to say, I'll just call it project one project one and by default it's automatically creating uh, a class in there with that same exact name so I don't really want that I'm gonna get rid of that and we're gonna say finish 
Okay, so we have the Java libraries right here. Those that's a must. That's the whole JDK 1.7 that we downloaded. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't be able to import uh, things like the scanner or any of the other things that you learn to use uh, when you first start doing Java. So we're going to go into our source packages, and we have a default package, but we don't have anything in it yet, unless you didn't click out of that uh, that one uh, last thing I clicked. In that case, you would have a project one dot Java. So now what we want to do is we want to create a new file, and we're going to have a Java class file. So click class, and then make sure we're in the project we want, which is project one, and we can click um, and right here. Okay, this is where we click the class name. Sorry, God, I'm not too used to this, and we're just going to say hello world because I'm very original and it auto sets up some of these uh, headers and stuff let me get rid of that when we want it. and in here let's do public static void main and that's where we run the main program and inside the parameters we take string args a string array called args as its arguments and we're just going to print out to the screen hello world so system dot out dot print line to print something to the screen and we're going to print a string so we're going to put double quotes and we're going to say hello world and in that statement with semicolon okay so we can save all the files that we just created and notice that this file is in the source packages that's very important so don't worry about these right now just worry about uh, what's in the source packages as a beginner and then we can run our project once we've saved it and yes we want to run that might take a second and then down here it ran and printed out hello world alright so there's a little video on how to get started with creating a class and creating projects with NetBeans Thank you guys, and please subscribe below.